my dearest listeners. God says, let go of walls gone. Be grateful for what remains and look forward to what is coming. They will understand as Laban did with Jacob that having you in their lives blisses and benefits them. Transfer of wealth is imminent profits are not about doom and gloom. And darkness, certainly many things, are coming to the earth, but for you it is as morning spread on the mountains. Come up into your inheritance as mountain. Be situated in a position where your perspective is a heavenly perspective, not one handed to you by an unenlightened and illegitimate authority. The talking heads have no idea about my kingdom. The more you try to control something, the more it controls you. Free yourself and let things take their own natural cause. God tells us to burden him with whatever burdens us again for support. Start networking with strangers, they are the biggest. Supporters you got stop being scared of what others will say when you walk in your purpose. When God call you, he didn't call a conference call. Lions don't care about the opinions of shape. These days I have sent prophets into the earth to establish you and bring you to the transfer of the wealth promised in the end times. So it is nice to smile share my word with others and always care for others that God will help you. Do not despise your humble beginnings for the Lord has great plans for you. You will not end up as a failure. The Lord upholds all who for he has. Been with you in your lowest state, he will send his grace to lift you into his righteousness and glorify his name. You will make it to heaven in sin beware of false prophets, which come to you in ship's clothing, but inwardly they are revenging wolves. You should know them by their fruits. Two graves come from tones. If Satan cannot make you bad, he will keep you distracted. To yourself that your hearts never become weighed down with overeating, drinking and anxieties of life. And suddenly that day we instantly upon you as a snare. For either come upon all those who live on the face whole earth. You are never alone, God says I hear you. I hear the pain in your voice. I can feel the weight on your shoulders. It is too much for you to handle and I want you to. Know that I am here to collect all of that weight and to remove that pain. When the Egyptians gave the Israelites their goods during the Exodus those, outside my purposes will grant, give, and bless you. Got your spirit today. What do you listen to, and what you let other people say about others is just as important as it is important for us to be the salt. That seasons our communities with moral ritual as prescripted in the word of God to discipline your thought life and to reject and angry, self-pities, attitude a decision that God is in control of your life and everything is going to be all right turns into anger and there's one of my worst toxic threads. God himself will be with you no matter where you go, no matter where you are. Jesus is always there with you, he will. Never leave you nor forsake you, the love of God will fill you. He will be with you just like a father to lead you. I saw the death, the great and the small, standing before the throne and books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life, and the dad were judged from the things which were written in the books. According to dates, take this pose as a reminder that you are amazing. If Satan got kicked out of heaven for sin, what makes you think? I believe in prayer. I believe in the word of God. I believe in miracles. I leave the rest to God. Bless you.